So that's our table heat map. However, uh, I may have one or two other adjustments that I would like to, to format. First, we'll have to include a title on this table for clearer description. So I will go to general section. I'm going to put on the title. So for tables, titles are off by default. So I'm just going to put on the title and I'm going to expand this so that I can type in something there. And this title, I think I would like to describe as percentage of transaction shipment of the top 10 states. And that will be my title. One other thing I will also probably want to do is to adjust the width of the columns so that I can utilize the extra white space that we we'll have here. And how you adjust the width of columns inside a table is you have to come into the table itself and then try to go to the boundary of any of the columns like this until you see this uh, cross there. You can use that to drag and expand the column width. So I'm going to expand each one of them until I utilize the entire white space. Then... I also want to try to centralize the numbers and the headers. So still, I'm going to come back here to the visual section. When I scroll down, so I'm going to expand on specific column. When I scroll down in the options for specific column, I can see alignment. So I'm just going to click on the one that is central. And finally, if I want to increase the height of the rows so that I can also um, manage the extra white space i have here at the bottom i will simply scroll to the top then i'm going to expand grid and uh, when i scroll down on grid i have options and what i want to use here is the row padding so i'll keep on increasing the row padding until i find a good uh, number that fits so let me increase this to number three and I think uh, three is probably too much, so I'm just going to stay with two. And that's it. We've got our table. I'm just going to apply shadows. Then we can move on to the next thing. So effects, scroll down, put on the shadow. 